Now today we are going to be talking about an interesting theory that I thought about and that is if Asagi has already been chosen by Ego to become Blue Lock's winner. Now this can be a hard topic because Blue Lock has not ended but I'm thinking about the signs we have seen now and it is not far fetched to believe that Ego has already picked Asagi to win. Now in the spin off novel, Anri wanted to cross off Asagi because he did not seem good enough to be a striker and Ego went off of his personal judgement and picked Asagi anyway to join the Blue Lock program. But Ego must have seen something in Asagi right away that allowed him to make the decision to invite Asagi over. He noticed Asagi's eye for accurately assessing his position in relation to the players around him and his high soccer IQ. He was a hidden gem who had killed his potential as a striker by using all of his talent for the team. Ego even says that it is the ego of people like Asagi who will make Blue Lock a treasure. He knew the potential of Asagi and needed him to come to Blue Lock to see how good he would be if his ego could become unsealed. Then Asagi is the first one to come running after Ego's intro speech and Ego has a slight grin on his face noticing that his words have managed to get through to Asagi. Asagi was even put in a tag match against a player whose team had just defeated him. Ego says that Asagi is a perfect example of someone who pursued their own will and that is the Ego he is looking for. I think Ego deep down knows the potential of Asagi and is putting him through certain situations to bring out his full Ego that was once sealed. Many times in the story we see panels of Ego nearby whenever Asagi has done something. The first time we see this was in the game against Team Y and Asagi stands over Nico. We have Ego smiling in his chair noticing the reaction from Asagi after defeating Nico he could tell Asagi started to change from there. That feeling and excitement of crushing others is what Ego wanted everyone to feel at Blue Lock, winning by scoring goals even at the expense of your own teammates. Ego says that the creation of a leader sweeps the rest into a spiral of competitiveness and that is Blue Lock's essence. This comes after Asagi became Team Z's top scorer and was the foundation for the team and who do we see again? We see Ego. Ego also says that only at the most critical moment can a hero be born. I think Ego has been setting up critical moments for all the Blue Lock players but Asagi specifically has been crushing all of them and is now considered Blue Lock's hero. Asagi has been captivating the most crucial moments of Blue Lock and only continues to grow to becoming the best striker in the world. He has garnered the philosophy of other master strikers around him and he will only continue to return to his original Ego. Now Ego has been seen to be a genius in terms of his practice style and the way he can coach the players of Blue Lock but also for how he was able to create a whole generation of strikers that can also play different positions and insert themselves on official teams in the Neo Egoist League. Now Ego was forced to create a match between a Blue Lock 11 and an under 20 match but he was originally planning on narrowing down Blue Lock to just 5 players. I think this worked out well for Asagi because I don't think he would have made the top 5 from just inside of Blue Lock. He needs that extra source of information and power from outside Blue Lock. That's why the Neo Egoist League has been detrimental to his success. Ego came up with the Neo Egoist League to make the Blue Lockers evolve at a faster pace to be able to win the World Cup that is upcoming. Ego has been making the most calculated and extreme measures to ensure the success of Blue Lock. Asagi did not make the top 6 for third selection but became a valuable asset to Rin and Shido allowing him to make the top 11. Asagi reached flow state in the third selection and we see Ego again where he explains the meaning of flow. Asagi has set foot on the path to the equation to create miracles. In the under 20 match, Asagi goes to Ego for advice on how to win the game and Ego has already accomplished his goal of getting Blue Lock on the map to showcase their talent so they would not disappear. Now this conversation concerns me because Ego already accepted the fact that he himself would vanish but everyone else would be the star. Why does Ego constantly still want to be the shadow who nobody knows anymore? It must have to do with his past and we will need to know more on that to fully analyze it. The passion of Blue Lock and especially Asagi has exceeded Ego's expectations and once again he says that he might be able to create football's most critical moment. He said this once before as I said earlier and that a hero can be born through this critical moment. When Asagi scores the game winning goal in the under 20 match we see Ego's eyes spark with hesitation. It's like he went into something even further than the moment of winning. He must have seen his old playstyle and self in Asagi and from then on he truly realized how terrifying Asagi could become. Now we know that Asagi reminds Noah Noah of Ego. He even says that he sees why he chose him. The way he thinks and theorized football is the same way Ego did back when he was teammates with Noah Noah in the past. Now Noah says that Ego was just his comrade in arms. Now comrade in arms means a person one fought with or worked together with to achieve something. So it seems that they were not really friends but both wanted to achieve something. The relationship reminds me of Ren and Asagi. Noah also says that he became the best in the world while Ego became obsessed with the world's best and he even became possessed by it. Now in this panel we see Ego in a dark black image showcasing his shadow aura once again. He continues to be the shadow in the background and is now a person obsessed by it. Ego has stated his disgust for Japanese football plenty of times now and you can tell just how obsessed he is with trying to fix it. His resentment and hatred of Japanese football could go even further than we think. Is why he wants someone like Asagi to win even more. He wants someone to rewrite history and not fall into the trap of Japanese football like he did. Someone like Atoshi Sai even understood how bad Japanese football is and is intrigued by the Blue Lock project. He even knows that the world Blue Lock sees and the place they are aiming for is different than the under 20 who all play for living a comfortable life and having an honest salary. Blue Lock is primed for becoming the best in the world and they are striving for that opportunity. Sai recognizes Asagi as a striker who can change Japanese football. He also has now seen what Ego saw during the match, the potential of a hero to bring forward victory at critical moments. 
Asagi declares that he himself will lead Japan to victory in the World Cup, and his goal makes his name thunder in the world. He is now the savior of Japanese football, something Igo cannot do as a player, but is trying to do as a coach. He also has now found a player that is exactly like him, and he will not allow his unpolished gem to go down the same path of a shadow like he did. Asagi is now in the spotlight and must continue to work on himself, or he could also crumble. Igo even talks about how Japan treats a genius-like player, but they are met with difficulties and are unable to reduce the results they want. They end up finishing their career as an average player. He talks about how this is a continued situation, and Japan will forever be third rate if they continue the process. A world-class striker cannot be born with the same mistakes that Japanese football keeps making. He then says that talent is the ability to prove one's strength, gambling their future and believing in themselves, and proving to the world that their strength is real. We have seen Asagi many times think about the world and how he wants to change the world with his goals. He wants to make his presence known and not disappear like others. Even in the Manshine match, as Asagi was about to close out the game, we get another panel from Ego, and he wants to see the climax that Asagi is about to create. Ego really does seem to have a good motivation for Asagi to improve, and to help him reach that point, he will put him through critical moments over and over. One thing Ego said is the language barrier that caused the stars to fall off. I like how in the Neo Ego's League, he made all of the clubs come directly to Blue Lock and didn't have them travel to the club's countries. He also created an earpiece device that allows them to talk to each other and translate their words for each other, not causing a language gap. His level of genius goes to show how Ego is not planning on having the Blue Lockers go down the same path of Japanese football. Ego is still quite the mystery as we do not know everything, but that makes it more fun to analyze what we do know and put theories together as to why he acts the way he does. His philosophy is very unique, but also similar to Noah Noah in a way. They both have their own styles and formats to win games. Asagi and Ren are very much like this who will work together to reach a common goal, but are not friends. Asagi this time, unlike Ego, does not want to become a shadow and wants to be the world's best as well. Ego is the shadow of Blue Lock, while Asagi is the hero. I feel Ego has already chosen Asagi to win Blue Lock, and now the Neo Ego's League is just a way for him to show the world before Ego actually declares him. He's still giving everyone else a chance to become the world's best striker, but I think deep down he already knows who the winner is. We have not seen a reaction from Ego like that in the under 20 match than we have from him anywhere else. He must have noticed this sensation once before in himself and wants to do everything to make sure his hidden gem gets to shine when in critical moments. Let me know what you guys think about this theory and just if Asagi deserves to be the winner of Blue Lock. Also guys, we just launched the creation of the Masquerade Discord and I'd love to see you guys more in there. We're going to talk a lot about anime and specifically Blue Lock, so I hope you guys can come in and join up and link will be in the description. I thank you guys for watching the video. Please like, comment, subscribe and I'll be back in the next one. Peace.